And <clears throat> at the center of that uh, has been a database that the U.S. government has paid a contractor, MITRE, to maintain for over 25 years. Uh, and that is the Common Vulnerability and Exposures Program, otherwise known as CVE. And uh, as a former programmer, uh, as a as a leader of technology programs in the government and elsewhere, I cannot emphasize strongly enough to our audience how important this program. What we learned is CISA, uh, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which is within the Department of Homeland Security, uh, took over the the requirement for this contract when it was formed. Right, so previously it had been with Homeland Security writ large, and they waited until the last second to refund and extend that program. It almost lapsed the other day. And I, again, the consequence of this would be massive. The CVE service and database and data feed, really, is not just somewhere you go if you're a programmer. It's not like a book or a bulletin that you read, like, hmm, I'm going to read this information and then I'm going to write a secure computer. The CVE is an ongoing feed of every vulnerability and exposure to every major and minor computer system in operation on the face of the earth. 